Hey everybody, this is Brie Tobias back with Art Supply Guide. Today I wanted to talk to you about uh, Liquitex Matte Medium. And I have a really large older bottle of it. And as you can see here, mine actually is diluted. I add a little bit of water to it. Um, the primary use of matte medium is to um, liquefy acrylic paints. Um, it does not have a shine to it. And uh, it's really great to use for transferring mediums and it works well as a glue and um, it's wonderful for collage because it doesn't um, make it glossy like a Mod Podge would. And this is actually um, a collage that I created using the Liquitex Matte Medium. If you want to see the full uh, tutorial on how to make this painting, I actually have it uh, on the YouTube channel. And it's uh, under the, the Peacock Watercolor Collage, I believe is the title of it. So um, I'll have a link in the, the bottom of uh, this video so you could go visit that um, painting demo. So back to the Liquitex Matte Medium. I want to try a different project today. I wanted to use a piece of wood and I wanted to attempt to do a inkjet printed image transferred onto wood. Now this is actually a drawing of mine and I did not flip this drawing. I didn't um, make a mirror image of it so when it comes out on my wood it will be opposite. There is no text here besides my signature but I'm actually going to cut that part off so when I put this design down it'll just be um, a flipped image of this. You'll need a piece of wood, and I'm using just a three-quarter inch piece of birch plywood. I have a lot of these scraps laying around my studio, so I use them for a lot of random projects. And um, we're going to lay down a layer of this matte medium straight onto the board. And then we are going to press this image after it's been cut out upside down onto the wood, and we will gently press it, and then we're going to let it dry. After it has dried, then we are going to go back with a wet towel or a sponge and we are going to gently lift away the paper and hopefully our image will be transferred onto the wood. Okay, I actually let the paper sit overnight uh, because the last time I had done a demonstration just as a practice run, I got a little bit impatient and tried to pull the paper off too early and uh, there were a lot of factors that made it not work. So this time I went ahead and let it sit and I have here a, um, a towel that is very damp and I'm just going to saturate the back of that paper and start to gently try to rub it away and we'll see if the ink has transferred onto the board. As you can see, it is starting to show up just a little bit, um, but you really need to be gentle whenever you're rubbing the paper away. Uh, it helps to have very saturated paper so it can ball up and come off of the wood very easily.
Okay, here is the finished result. And it looks to me like right up here, I didn't let the paper get wet enough. So when I pulled it away, it kind of pulled away uh, dry paper. And, and maybe I rubbed a little bit too hard. So I've lost a touch of definition. And again, this is just a thin... Uh, line drawing. I, I think something that has uh, heavier uh, dark areas like where these eyes and these leaves are, uh, they seem they seem to really show up a lot better. And also uh, just having a drawing that has different uh, gray values, you know, that might have some shading and things like that would probably turn out uh, nicely too as long as the details are defined. Um, also color ink uh, uh, transfers are supposed to work as well. Uh, I just didn't try it yet. I just wanted to kind of go with a simple black and white. Uh, this is kind of a cool idea because number one, I really like uh, to see my artwork on wood. But also, this could be a really good way for me to transfer a drawing straight onto wood for painting. So, I mean, there are um, a couple of different options for this technique. You could leave it as is. You could go back over it and touch up. I mean, you can add, uh, you know, glitter embellishments, highlights. You could glue rhinestones on this puff paint. Um you could put um, another layer of the Liquitex matte medium over it just to give it a protective barrier or like a varnish. Um, but the Liquitex, I would probably do a full coat before painting just to protect my wood so it doesn't have any of the bleed. Uh, but you really have a really interesting result here with uh, transferring onto wood. Uh, inkjet printers seem to work pretty well. Um, I'm not sure how the laser jet would work if it's even appropriate for this project, but I do know that some people have tried to do photographs printed off of the printer as well. And you kind of get varied results too. The problem with that is that sometimes you might get some of these broken areas. So in a photograph, that might give you more of an aged look. So that wraps it up for this project. I hope there was uh, something helpful that you learned here today. Uh, this is something that I'm probably going to try to incorporate in my own artwork. So uh, uh, I hope it was helpful for you as well. So thanks again for joining me today, guys. And uh, I'll see you next time on my next video of Art Supply Guide. Go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you can check out all the other things that I have to offer here on Art Supply Guide. All right, see you later.